Hi, it's Terry at Painted Garden Farm, and I'm here again to say hello, and uh, just wanted to share a little bit of thrifting stuff that I found. Um, no great shakes, nothing uh, enormous, no fabulous bargains, but a couple cool little things that um, kind of made my day. And a couple things I got at Dollar Tree that I thought were adorable, even though I can't get what I really want at Dollar Tree. What I really wanted at Dollar Tree were those stacking pots, the pot trios that you could stack, stack them up, and they went every which way so that when you stacked them up, alternatingly you had pots all around stacked up, and you could do like kind of a strawberry garden there or something like that. That was my hope to put a strawberry garden in, in a stack. And uh, maybe herbs in a stack, too. But, you know, life is full of disappointments, and that was one of them for me this week. I can't get it. I can't even get it online. They, you could buy a whole case of them. If you wanted to buy a whole case, you could buy it online and have it shipped to the store. Well, those things went off the shelves. Um, Terry didn't have a snowball's chance in you know where. No, that's not the same cup of coffee. It's just a very similar coffee cup from my set. So first I'm going to show you the Dollar Tree stuff that I did get. Because one thing I had seen online for the spring stuff that I thought was really cute was this llama. Here's the llama garden steak. And I don't know if my lighting is too bright for you to see it. I think it might be. Oh, so I made it brighter. Okay, well, maybe you can see it better now. But isn't it cute? I just thought it was adorable. I love llamas and alpacas. I'm a camelid fan. And uh, he's going to be hanging out in my garden sometime this summer. So I thought I'd share him. For a buck? What the heck? A um, couple other handy things I got at Dollar Tree. Um, these clips. When I'm doing furniture, I have to glue things down. Sometimes a veneer is peeling off or something. And I don't try to, you know, save the veneer because I want to, re you know, because I like it. It's just, it's, if you're going to paint something over, it has to be stuck down. You can't peel off and have a chipped corner. It's easy to glue down the veneer that exists rather than, um, I don't know if you can see these with the glare. But they're just little clips. And they will hold down corners of stuff that you're trying to glue down while they dry. Uh, I also got this little chalkboard sign. And that is going to be for my uh, farm stand. Um, will be it out here or if I get to go to farmer's market again. Because I use Square and I want to be able to say that I can take Visa, MasterCard, etc., etc. I have a sticker for that, and I didn't ever stick it on anything because I had nothing permanent. And for the garden, I've been trying to get these forever, and here I got them at Dollar Tree. It's flexible garden ties, so this will be so great for uh, tying up tomatoes, uh, tomato plants to the trellises and also um, anything else I'm trying to grow vertically because I plan to get some handy panels and some wire fencing to arch over uh, from one raised bed to another. And these are nice and soft and I'm sure that I can reuse them. It'll be easy to find them when I take them off the tomato trellises and stuff to reuse next year. Um, and I'm probably going to go get a couple more of those before they run out at the at the Dollar Tree. Um, let's see what else do I have. So these are the things I got at the Goodwill. One thing that I was thrilled about is my decorative balls. So these are those balls that you see in the middle of a coffee table in a big bowl at the like, furniture store and stuff um, when you're shopping because, I don't know, they're just decorative and they supposedly look, look good. Um, and these are kind of fun ones. Uh, one of them's missing a couple of little dots. And they were priced right. It was only $2.99 for this whole bag of them. And you know that when you 
went to Pier 1 before they uh, died off, sadly. Uh, you were paying two ninety nine a ball <laughs> or twenty dollars for a bag of them, and guess what? I got another bag of them. And these, some of them are feathered. The big ones are feathered, and then there's the little straw ones and little gourds and stuff, dried looking gourds. So the main reason I wanted those is not because I like to decorate my furniture with. Um, with a you know a big bowl of balls on it I don't keep that laying around the house for me it's a dust collector but when you are taking pictures of furniture to sell that you've refinished you need to stage it a little bit and so that sort of helps just like they do in the furniture store so for a few bucks for six bucks I have something I can do that with and I have all kind of little bowls around the house that I can use for that that's a big core thing. Uh, what else was I excited about? Uh, oh, I got some Party Light tea candles in banana bread set. I couldn't really smell them, but I'm a big fan of Party Light candles, and these are old ones. Um, maybe they're out of smell. <laughs> but anyway, I. Uh, they're from the old, the old school party light, the original party light, and I like, I always like their tea light scents. Um, so this, I'm gonna take the price tag off of this. I paid ninety nine cents for this. You can, can you still see that it said ninety nine cents? I don't know. Ninety nine cents. I just peel it off. It's upside down. Anyway, how's that for a wacky picture? I paid 99 cents for this little um, chalkboard sign. It says Class of 2020, and I did it on the back. So I'm guessing somebody had, like, you know, a drive-by graduation. Congratulations to them. I'm glad they did it. I'm glad they graduated. Sorry they had to graduate in 2020 where they couldn't have a real graduation. And thank you for donating your sign to go to the Goodwill because I am going to use this to make a sign for my farm stand because I've wanted a permanent nice sign that says Painted Gun Farm on it for a while. And so what I'm going to do is repaint it black because this is obviously just wood that was scroll sawed. It's like a piece of, you can see the wood grain underneath. I don't know if you can, but I can. I'll try to get it in the light. Maybe this bright light's good for something. But it's just wood. It's cheap plywood, three level, it's like quarter inch plywood. And I'm just gonna repaint it black, and then I'm gonna find a way to stencil, paint a, paint a garden farm on here. And if I can ever get me a logo, uh, I will try to get that on here too, but for now, and I can redo it as many times as I want. Every year I can change my sign if I like, because it's my prerogative. Um, so, I promised some arts and crafts. I have some black paint. I'm going to show you how easy it is to just paint over something and make it new. Um, so this is just... The little Americana craft paint that I probably got at AC Moore, another sadly gone out of business store. And I'm at my desk because I don't have, at the moment, um, a functional camera that I can set up and do these things with. So I apologize. Oh, sorry, you got to see my hand up very closely again because I, I don't like the lighting right now. Um, so anyway, um, I'm going to paint this and I'm doing it at my desk, which is not my craft table up in my craft room. Um, I will be able to make videos there soon. As soon as I get the right kind of camera that I can see that I am in the video, um, while I'm making the video. So I have my little, my little paint palette here and I just need it so that I can put paint on the 
This is me shaking my paint. Um, this paint I've had for several years. It's been sitting in a in a drawer. I'm going to say ebony black, which is all I need. I'm going to put a little dab. I have a tiny little sponge brush. And I probably should have cleaned this first. Usually I clean everything. It doesn't seem really dirty. So, I don't know. I'm just going to go for it and see how it turns out. Oh yeah, it's taking the paint. Here we go. It's taken the paint very well, so well that I would have to say, and let me tilt this down so you can see what I'm doing instead of looking at my face. So, I'm not being fussy or picky about putting this on. I'm just trying to cover what I can cover. And what I'm going to try to do is maybe get a chalk looking crayon or something. I need more paint. I only put I only put like a quarter size drop of this on before. And it's probably going to take another quarter size drop to finish this. Alright, so now I'm going to go, if you can see... I'm going to go around the edges of this and around where the rope is. I'm not going to worry too much if I get a little bit of paint on the rope because it's a rope. It's just rope. The rope doesn't care. And then once I get it on the edges, I'll pull in towards the middle. Can you see anything I'm doing? All right, so get around this edge. I put my hand right in the paint right here where I just painted. How brilliant was that? See how I have little black pinkies. Um. So I'll hold it over here now and go along the bottom, the very bottom edge, as far as I can here, and then draw across. Right now, sorry this is so inconvenient, this is not really a great video, but it's content. <laughs> it's content. It's quality content. It's it's an art and craft. But if I'd have gone someplace like uh, you know any one of the local craft stores, and I have three of the big name famous ones around me, um, and I find them all very enjoyable. Don't get me wrong. But when I can spend ninety nine cents on something that I would have spent. Probably three ninety nine or four ninety nine. Well, it just makes me feel smarter. So, and I already had the paint. Like I said, it's been sitting in a drawer for years. Because I tried to make. I started out making some birds with a jigsaw that I called my yard birds, and they were very cute. And I may make them again because they were. We had them around. I used uh, some really good outdoor polyurethane, spray polyurethane on them. And uh, I had do dowels on them. I would do something different than dowels because those uh, sort of dry rotted. But I had them stuck around the yard. My, I had made them because I was going to try to make a whole bunch and sell them at a craft fair. And my husband thought I was just making them for us. He thinks everything I make is just supposed to be just for us to use. And um, so he stuck them out in the yard. <laughs> I'm like, I can't, now I can't sell them because they use. So, um, 
Sorry, the light's almost went out on you. Um, but anyway, they did last a long time. It was a, it was kind of a good uh, test run for them anyway. So now that I have my scroll saw up and working and I have a garage and I can go out and sit in the garage, I can do those again probably and use something different than a wooden dowel. Maybe make them on a... Uh, on, you know, a wire thing, a metal thing that, uh, you know, like this llama. All right. So this paint dries pretty quickly because the places that I started out on the other side are already dry. I just want to even out my brush strokes, make them go all the way across. So I don't have any... edge things, thin everything out as much as I can, so it'll finish drying quicker, I don't have those lines, alright, so here is one side totally painted, totally black, the other side still says grass of 2020. So I'm just going to let that dry a while, and then I'll come back and paint the other side. And tomorrow I will be back with more fun and games, and maybe even some, um, I think I'm going to try to show you a craft um, that I did over the holidays. And it, I used it to make Christmas ornaments and uh, sold a few of them off at work. And they were really cute, and I still have some of them around. And I still, uh, I'm going to make more to sell next year. I'll sell them in sets probably. But in the meantime, one thing that was popular, uh, one of the ornaments I made was angels. And they're so pretty that somebody asked for extra ones because they felt like it was something that they could put in a card, like a sympathy card and stuff. Here's an angel for you to, you know... So I'm like, you know what, I think I'm going to make some more angels, and I will show you how to make these angels. They are really cute, um, really pretty, and there's, I have some ideas how to make different ones um, for different occasions. But I'll show you my angels, my pretty little angels, and how to make them, and we'll do that. And I will be back with you when I figure out how to paint what I want on my sign, but... Again, go to the thrift store, grab something, put some paint on it, make it yours. Um, upcycling, reusing, re reducing waste is so, so much better than just going out and buying new all the time. You save your money and you save the planet. So that's as preachy as I'll ever get. Um, that's, you know, I just, uh, that's what I'm all about, doing things on the cheap. Homesteaders. And preppers and all of those people that you think are kind of crazy. Well, maybe, but guess what? We get our stuff for 99 cents when it's four ninety nine at the new store. So, um, you know, I'm just being silly now. But yeah, it's, you know, it's, but it's true. Whenever you can thrift something, whenever you can <laughs> put a little extra buck in your pocket and keep it in the bank, it's a good thing. So, uh... I have a lot of stuff coming up to show you. I have garden beds. I think I mentioned that yesterday. Um, I will show you the ones that I purchased and later we'll do what, you know, a review on them uh, after they're outside. As soon as we get some melting, which might not be for a while because we've got snow every other day this week in the forecast. Um, so here, that's how it is in southern Massachusetts. You know, you don't like the weather. Wait a minute, it's going to change. Um, and we had pretty much a, a mild, easy winter so far, so we really can't complain. Especially, well, we will in a month, because this is exactly how it was in 2015 when we got bombarded with snow starting on the very end of January. We had nothing up till then, and then we had a blizzard, and then another blizzard, and then another blizzard, and then a good old nor'easter. 
Um, in 2011, twice a week we were getting a good snowstorm and we were running out of places to put the snow in the yard. And we didn't live here yet. Um, here, it's a little bit different story. We've got a bigger driveway, but we got more room for the snow piles. So it's okay. Uh, but the weather is definitely kind of hampering my, um, my video making efforts here. So I apologize that if things get boring and I'll try to make things interesting no matter what, um, you know, watching me paint a board, <laughs> it's better than watching the paint dry, right? Um, I also want to reach out to a few of my old subscribers and, uh, from when I was Highview Hill Micro Farm. There were people that were interested in seeing how much stuff I could actually grow in my four little raised beds and, um, you know, in my tiny little yard. And unfortunately, I never got there. I never got to really find out. And uh, because we were supposed to be moving every year, I just said, well, I'm not going to do a full garden. And I didn't. And I should have because every year we didn't move. And we could, I could really have a lot more uh, skill and stuff built on now. So now I'm kind of out of practice for doing some of the garden. Like I know all the facts and I know all the stats and I know the way to do things, but I haven't got my hands in the dirt for so long. And so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but I'm not just about gardening and uh, we will do some more upcycling and fun stuff and some crafts. Um, just trying to squeeze stuff in after work and get done what I can do and I will be in touch soon. So please like and subscribe and follow me and see what happens next. See when things start really getting rocking and rolling. Thanks again for watching. Have a great night. Take care.